Hey guys and welcome to the racing seat. I'm Rez. And I'm Matt. Today on the racing seat, we're going to be installing some toe arms in Matt's car. Yeah, um, I've been having some alignment issues just with fine tuning the toe. Uh, in this car, you can only adjust the toe if you also adjust the camber. So that's been causing a few issues, but today we're going to put in adjustable toe arms and that should fix them. Let's go do it. Let's do it. So this is a suspension component we're installing, so we had to jack up the car, put it on jack stands so we could get under the car to take the old part out. Next we took off the wheels so we could get better access to all the suspension components. So here we've got the rear trailing arm of the car. This top one is the camber arm. That's going to adjust, well we're not changing that, but if you had an adjustable one that would adjust camber. This is what we're changing, the um, lower toe arm. And with that, we're going to be able to, uh, to adjust toe because you can't at the moment. Well, you can't do it on its own. Yep, it's not great. But we're going to change that. It's going to be good. Before we took the old toe arms out, we took a picture of the eccentric bolt so we could put it back in the same position on the new item. So here we've got the old toe arm we pulled out. No adjustment in it. It's got um, very loose joints. Here we've got the new one. It's a hard race item. It's got hardened rubber bushings. And most importantly, it is adjustable length. So we can adjust our toe much easier and without affecting camber like we did before. So, what we're doing here is just adjusting the new item so it's roughly the same length as the old item and that way we're going to have a sort of good alignment until we can actually go to the tyre shop and get it done properly, which you should do because this will throw your alignment out pretty bad. So we're just going to choose any reference point on the arm. So we're going to have the mounting face to the trailing arm and the edge of this bolt hole and I'm measuring that as 155 mil. Now we're just going to equal it up over here. So I'm a little out. There you go, that's pretty good. And now we're just going to lock them in with the two locking nuts without it moving. So we're going to hold the middle so that it's not going to flip around and change. And we're just going to... And this middle bit is reverse thread, so we're having to lock the other way to normal. Just recheck your measurements to make sure they haven't moved. It's good. And just nip it up. Here we go, ready to put in. So while the car was up in the air, we decided to lower Matt's car a bit more. That way he can get one wheel alignment for the lowering and the toe arms and sort it all out in one go. So I've got the lowering done and the toe arms in, it's time to put the wheels back on and lower the car down.
All right, guys, so that's how you install tow arms in your car. Now, tow arms are important if you want to make fine adjustments to your alignment. So in our case, the Lancer couldn't be, couldn't have the camber adjusted without having the toe also adjusted on the rear. So we added in the toe arms so we could independently adjust the toe and the camber, which is really important for track use. Yeah, um, it's important that when you do anything with your suspension, like we've done, that you go get alignment as soon as possible. Now, as well as doing the toe arms, we've also lowered the car a bit. It's a good idea to do anything you want to the suspension in sort of all at once. And that way you can just get one alignment that covers all of it and you end up not having to get 50 alignments. Yeah. All right. I'm Rez. And I'm Matt. And this has been The Racing Suit. See you next time. See you later. Forgot my shoes.